New at five, it's happening again. A group based in New York is paying for inflammatory ads to be postured on San Francisco muni buses. It's something we've seen in months past, and KTV's Patty Lee is in the city tonight to explain why muni can't refuse those ads and what muni's doing in response. Patty? Well, they've learned from their past with this group. The ads are on 10 muni buses so far, but soon they'll be on 100 such buses, which will be crisscrossing the city for a month. On the side of muni buses, this message. Yesterday's moderate is today's headline. It continues, it's not Islamophobia, it's Islamorealism. That's horrible. Why would they even put that out there? It's more things that they need to be putting out there on buses, not this. That doesn't make any sense. The American Freedom Defense Initiative paid $43,000 for what it calls an anti-jihad awareness campaign. This is its seventh such campaign in San Francisco. People are offended, and, you know, when we deal with the public space, such as our vehicles, we have to abide by the First Amendment. Muslim and interfaith groups in the city voice concerns, but MTA spokesman Paul Rose says Muni cannot legally refuse to show the ads. But it does have a counter move, public service ads promoting peace, love and tolerance. We'll have 2,000 interior ads and 20 exterior ads uh, to counter this offensive message. Muni has three different public service ads that will be visible on buses for the rest of the year. This campaign was also launched this morning. That was not a coincidence. It was timed to neutralize the negative message from these anti-muscle mats. Reporting live in San Francisco, Patty Lee, KTVU Channel.